What's up, guys? It's your boy, Jay Scott Top. Hello. And we are Midnight, Midnight Movie, Movie Watchers. <laughs> and this is our first, this is our first, first, first time, first time, first guys. Time. We got a first time for you My guys. My first time. Man. <laughs> Uh-oh, Elbow, <Elbo>, get him. <laughs> Well, yeah, this is our first time, guys. Uh, we're going to be doing our very first movie pre-discussion. Yeah. Now, what that means is we're going to be discussing movies that soon to come out that we're excited to see. And in, in ghetto time, we watch a trailer. We watch a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of like a trailer review, but, you yeah. know, we're going to talk about it a little bit. And so, for anyways, anyway, so today's video is going to be us. Us, baby. Us. Jordan Peele, what's up, Jordan man? Peele, what's us. up, man? He the truth. The writer yeah. get out. Right? <laughs> you don't know. Uh, the, the Key and Peele. Key and Peele. Yeah, oh, Key and Peele was, man. Was funny, I like the cage, the cage fighter. Did yeah. you see that? <laughs> I had all of them was fun. The cage true. fighter was amazing. Mm -hmm. All right, Elbow. So let's dive straight into let's it. Go, let's check out the is. truth. Let's see what we're coming with. Mm. You can go ahead and play it in the corner for y'all, okay? Oh, they jamming. They jamming already. Hey. Man, I ain't heard this shit in a minute. It's about drugs. It's not about drugs. It's a dope song. Don't do drugs. Get in rhythm. Don't do drugs. <laughs> Right. Yeah, that ain't Galveston Beach. Yeah, that ain't Galveston Beach. Yeah, Texas people, H-Town. Galveston Beach be brown as hell. You can't see nothing in that moment. Oh, yeah. Where's Jason? Uh-oh. Nice change of pace. Straight medieval. <laughs> Quick. Oh, yeah. You better check them, mama. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's that Nightmare on Elm Street feel. That's right. The Strangers, like that. <laughs> that is like The Strangers. Oh, this is, that's what it reminds me of. Get a black, yeah. We can get crazy. <laughs> All these niggas ran. <laughs> shit, they split up quick. This nigga climbing up trees and shit. Oh, they fucked. Yeah, they out of there. Hey, they out of there. Oh, dang. Oh, what is this? He looked like the little nigga from the stranger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who are you people? It's us. It's not, Jay. Exactly like us. What oh, shit? Like but it's, 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 it's still, like, it, it gotta be a crazy, deeper meaning to it. Like, gotta be. Everybody always battle with something like the inner demon and stuff like that. Like, how would you even explain how she running like that? We kill them. A man from uh, Wakanda. I just was there, a whole crew. Because she was from uh, in Black mm -hmm. Panther too. Yeah. That was the girlfriend. Ow! Oh. Man, John Hill likes him to treat the last. Man. No, 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 no. <laughs> Holy shit. And the artwork for us, it's yeah. like the like the butterfly effect or the Rorschach, 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 Rorschach shit. <laughs> that shit crazy. Well, holy fucking shit, Evo, what you think, man? You gotta go first with this one. I, I'm, you know, I like Get Out. So this right here, I, I can't wait to see it. Man. It's coming out Thursday. Uh, we definitely gonna be. There. I will be there. At midnight we definitely gonna real. be there at midnight. Or maybe. Seven o'clock. That's what I'm showing, but <laughs> we gotta work. <laughs> <laughs> we got job, people. Right, but man, like, fuck, Jordan Peele, like, he did it again. He did it again. I didn't even gotta see the movie because the Get Out when the Get Out trailer came, it was like a year advance. Right, and people were so pumped. So to see pumped, it. and it's and like he does it, it again, and again. Yeah, tr like what what what, tr what trips me out for the, for him to make his debut with Get Out. Killed it. Killed it. Kicked fucking ass. And the concept was just so dope. It was so original. Get yeah. Out was definitely... You guys have never seen a movie like that. And the way that it tackled, like, the social issues with the Easter yeah. eggs and, like, the way he wrote it, like, the deeper meanings. I mean, yeah. it was just so much. It was just I, so much. I see it in this movie, too. Like, yeah. the, the yourself trying to get, like... It's like battle demons, like I was right, saying. Right, like, right. battling your demons or whatever. 
I feel like they want to take over. Mm -hmm. And see, like that's what I, that's what I'm wondering. Like one of the reasons I'm so excited to see this film is because I'm wondering what direction he's going to take it in. Because yeah. like in the trailer, the trailer does such a good job at showing yeah. you the the concept, but you like not telling you the story. You know yeah. nothing I about think, us. I think that's what makes it, like his style is so great because most trailers usually like okay this this oh she kidnapped oh shoot. Goddamn, take it five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we already know how it go in. Right, like, right. Oh, she fell in love. Oh, they gonna get back at the end. Like, there you already, go. <laughs> they already show you like, okay, the trailer. But this right, I'm like, nigga, I don't know what's gonna happen. Like, I know they're gonna fight with each other. Are they gonna get them? Are they not? Like, right. And like, that's what's so crazy, guys. Like, cause even in Get Out, like, you never know what direction he's gonna take it in. Like, did you know actually in uh in the original ending for Get Out, mm -hmm. he actually. It, it was it was going to end completely different. Yeah, when he going to go to jail or something? Yeah, like Chris, uh, the main character, was going to go to jail. Okay. After there, he killed his girlfriend in the family or whatever. He yeah. was actually going to go to jail. And, like, he wanted to tie... He That was because he wanted to tie in to, like, what's going on with the cops and, you know, yeah. and black men and shit like that. So, like, I was like, man, like, I'm happy he did write it how he did because that was a fucking incredible ending. Yeah. But, I mean, that just goes to show his genius. Like, mm -hmm. he, he writes these stories in ways that you don't know what the fuck is yeah. going to happen. What yeah. the hell is coming? Like, there's no I way. Agree. And then he makes you want to buy the DVD to get that alternate ending. Yeah, so, so he, you can like, see it. And get out, he did end it because he was like, sex slave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time you can't say when you watch Get Out about talking about the sex lady, you were like, "Yeah, it's sex lady, sex like, lady, yeah, something to do with sex lady, shit. sex lady." Yeah. TSA. <laughs> but man, it's like John Peel. He's come such a long way. Like, I mean, from Key and Peel. Yeah. Like I, I bet yeah, Keanu. That was Keanu. Funny. Oh, to Keanu. To make a movie about a cat. Keanu was one of my favorite movies. Like, was hilarious. <laughs> the Assassins was like that was one of my favorite movies. <laughs> it was an amazing movie, but like he's come such a long way, and like he's really proven himself to be the modern day Stephen King in two films. In yeah. two films, that's what's so amazing to me. Ass. And like I couldn't be more proud of this man because like he's really setting. I feel like he's really setting a tone of like he he changing the pace to like. Horror thriller movie. Right, right. Like, he's bringing it back to that old school, mm -hmm. and I love it. I love yeah, it. Yeah, cause he got like I say when you look at the trailer, he got that Wes Craven feel. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh yeah, this nightmare. Like, yeah, this is a nightmare <laughs> on the street, like. And I that love that he bring that blackness to it too, like with the with the uh, I got five on, like the way he twisted it up to. You can't he say made it a horror song. Nobody can't say the end jam. I got five. Everybody on. jam. I got five on. And he twisted it up into a hard track. Yeah. Like, this trailer was dope. This was it a dope-ass fucking trailer. And it's, I'm sure it's going to be a super dope movie. It is. Super dope. Can't wait to see it, man. So, with that being said, Elvo, we're going to be going to the movie theater Thursday to see that bad I ain't even see it 10 out of 10. <laughs> That's actually what I was going to ask you. 10 out of 10. I ain't even see it 10 out of 10. <laughs> what well, off the trailer? Whatever. <laughs> Right. Fight me. So Fight me. <laughs> from going from just from viewing the trailer, I guess you answered the question, but from viewing the trailer, I changed the question up. <laughs> what are you most excited to see in this movie? I wanna see how the movie play out. Because I really like I watched um any movie you can name, say I watched it all from I think nineteen fifties where I stopped that people I ain't going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I watched everything and I can like I already can pre like okay this was gonna happen this right, was right, just right. blah blah but this right now I really don't like I have to sit down and I I can think where it's gonna go but I got like six scenarios yeah like yeah. where he can take it mm -hmm. like so I, don't, I just want to see where he goes where he go, or where, where the movie play out at right so. right right okay uh, I'm gonna answer my own question yeah, here guys answer your own question what do you think so what I'm most excited to see I agree with you direction definitely mm -hmm. but uh, I'm really excited to see the way. Because one thing I love about him is the way he balances out the horror. Uh -huh. Like, he don't make his movies over horror -y. <laughs> over horror -y. Like, gory. Yeah, blood, you know, like, spring. for no reason, right? Like, yeah. and, uh, and it's crazy because uh, you said uh, Nightmare from Elm Street earlier. I actually got uh, vibes from, uh, uh, what's that movie? Is it Psycho? What's the mm. movie uh, with the guy... 
who was dressed as his mother. It's like a classic. Uh, it's it's a, a psycho. Uh, Norman Bates. It is. Yeah, the Norman TV Bates. Bates it is. Hey. Right, right. And like that's kind of the vibes it gave uh, me, like just did, that yeah. classic feel, and like that's what I love about it. So I'm really, I'm really looking forward to see mm-hmm. the uh, the the tone that this movie has, and I'm excited to see how he tie in like things that I'm going to be looking for that yeah. people miss, yeah, like just like get out, social like issue. <laughs> social issue, right? Or Easter social. eggs, if, yeah, if, you if you will, right? He, he gonna do it. I like I say, ten out of ten. I'm seeing it Thursday. I already. I'm we gonna be there. So, I'm Jay Scott Top. I'm Elvo. We gonna go see us. Yes. Get us. out. Us get get out. Us. us. Get out. Us. Get out. Us. US. Get us. out. Get us. out. US. You trying to tell us something? Get out. Us. Get out. <laughs> get out. Us. Lies. Get out. Us. Lies. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> this has been another episode of the Midnight Movie Watchers. Watchers. And Elmo, anything you'd like to add? Go see uh, us. Guys, please go see us. Please go support this film. You will not be disappointed. Early reviews coming out. uh, And they said that, like, all the reviews that have come out said the film was amazing. We super pumped. Uh, Jordan Peele has proved his dominance, his his awesomeness in two movies at this point. So please go support this man. He really deserves it. Uh, thank you guys, and make sure you like, comment, subscribe to Midnight Movie Watchers. All the information will be in below. Make sure you go to all our social medias and add us, add us, so you guys know what. Yeah, add I'm gonna go play the game. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys know everything that yeah. we got coming on this channel, mm-hmm. and that's it. I have nothing else to say. Nope. Yeah. We out. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs>